Hey, what's up guys? VR Gamer Dude here, and today on VR On The Go, we are going to be taking a look at Data Core Cut Chronicles. And man, I gotta tell you, um, I'm actually looking forward to this. I've been looking for a good role-playing game to uh, play here on my Oculus Go um, when I'm at work, at, on lunch, and just have some free time. So um, I checked this out on the Oculus Store, it looked pretty good, so let's dive in there and take a look. Once upon a time, there were good people living at ease in a prospering land. There might find people. One day, a shepherd saw a flying fairy Sweet. living by the forest. Enthralled with love and succumbing to lust, the shepherd cursed his entire village with a mongrel. Oh, Name man, of the curse was Cyclops. Never compromising, never sated, the Cyclops was ever hungry for flesh, Damn his Cyclops. animal or man. This was the reason Dedekorkut summoned Basat, the orphan of lions, undaunted and stalwart hero, back to his birthplace. Without hesitation, Basat valiantly rode his horse to the mountains. Sweet. I think that's me. So, get a little backstory. Alright, that works. Okay, alright. So, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, decent lighting, scale is good. We got our fairy here. Let's follow this fairy here. Not that I have any choice, uh, right now I'm kind of on rails. Got a little uh, ambient music starting to kick in here. Very nice. Hey, Mr. Owl. Oh, hey, I had a question for you. Um, how many links does it take to get to the center of it? Chronicles. Alright, so... Man, I really have high hopes for this. I, I've really been itching for a good... Whoa! Hey, Mr. Al, you clipped right through my face. I was going to say, I've been really itching for a good role-playing game on my Oculus Go. I mean, something that's, you know, got some length to it. It's got some, you know, decent graphics. So, I don't know. So far, only a couple of seconds in here and I'm already digging this. So, okay, looks like we've got some uh, Oculus Go controller instructions here. So, looks like, let's see here, hold the ring towards the circle and pull the trigger to walk. So, um, I'm not going to lie, I was really hoping that it was have it would have some sort of traditional locomotion here on the thumb pad. Um, I just, I, I mean, I know we're limited here on the Oculus Go, but come on, guys. I mean, just let me walk with the thumb pad. Um, and um, opens the main menu. So, let's see. And, yeah, I think that'll get us back into the gameplay here. So, um, okay. So, I got a flashlight. Uh, it's like my super secret decoder ring here. Um, and I guess, per the instructions, the only thing I can do is point it at this circle and pull the trigger, and that starts me walking. Now, um, I'll give them credit, they, they did decouple the head, um, as well as the flashlight, so once I pull the trigger, I can just walk, which that is nice. So, um, do they give me any direction options? No. Um, oh, so it looks like we do have snap turning if we uh, click on the thumb pad here. Uh, but, you know, obviously I'm going to harp on it. I, I would much rather have the option to just have free movement and smooth turning. Um, you know, or, I mean, at least give me the option if it's available. Now, I know with the Oculus Go there are limitations, but, you know, I've seen other games that do it, so... Just saying, devs, you know, there are people out there who do like that option, and now I'm going to stop ranting about that, as I always do. So, alright, let's go ahead and see what these guys are up to. And I do apologize for my voice, guys. Welcome, I have something really sick lately. We were waiting for you. Uh, come well, here. Take a seat. Sweet, man. I'm going to come sit by your campfire, listen to your old cleric stories here. Son, you traveled from afar. Are you my dad? Crossed many hills. Sweet. I know you must be wondering why you were summoned. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious. Let me explain. We have an unfathomable trouble on our hands. Unfathomable? This calamity is named Cyclops. Oh, I heard about that guy. In the past, we pitied him. 
took him in, cared for him in a hayloft. You gave him a hayloft? As time passed, he grew in size. His hunger grew even more. He grew an appetite for man as well. So we had to exile him. Oh man, not good. Exiled to the mountains, he became a brigand. He waylaid and kidnapped shepherds, men, even children. We sent many to remedy him. Some couldn't even reach him. I know you well, son. You are fearless, strong. You are the only one who could ever succeed. Our people's future depends on you. All right. If you are up it for the impossible does. task, go to the tent and grab a weapon. Don't okay. turn yeah, to I me. Do that. I have more to tell. Sweet. I'm gonna get a weapon. But before I do that, I was gonna comment here. Um, so I love the fact that these are voice acted characters. I, I, I say that over and over again in these videos that I do really, really like it when I'm not having to read text in my face. That's that's kind of immersion breaking now. I was having to read text with that, so I'm going to jump into the menu real quick. We'll take a look at that and see if there is any way to turn those subtitles off. And pretty limited menu. I can see where I can turn the sound off, but I cannot turn the subtitles off. So, um, all right, you know, I'm just going to say, if you're going to talk, I don't need to read it. So you should at least give me the option to turn that off. I know, I'm kind of being bitchy. I guess it's because I'm sick. So, all right, you guys hang out here at the campfire. You, you play a tune. I'm going to go check out what weapons are available here in the tent. All right. Nice. I keep wanting that thing to go, hey, listen. Yeah, you, you get it. Alright. Crossbow. Sweet. Oh, hey, you took my crossbow away. And yeah, my sword and my shield. Nice. Now, that's where I definitely would like to have a, a second controller. Um, not gonna lie, we're getting close. I'm looking forward to the quest. Uh, something like this on the quest, where I'm actually up and walking around in this. Uh, that's gonna be awesome. You know, and everybody says graphics, 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 whatever. I mean, this is pretty simple graphics, but I'm not going to lie, I'm not hate on it. You know, uh, I mean, it doesn't take AAA quality graphics to make a good VR game. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to lie, I'd love to see this get polished up a bit and put on Quest or, you know, on Rift. Uh, that would be fantastic. So, all right, looks like we're going to learn how to use our weapons here. So, alright, so let's see here. Press down to activate the shield. And, right, so there's my shield. Oh, 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 hey, you're shooting stuff at me, fairy lady. Just an epic fail where I just literally knocked my microphone off my desk, and you guys got to see that as it was happening. So, and I'm gonna leave that in there. Aha! I blocked you. Aha! Yes. Alright, so now I guess we're gonna learn how to use the crossbow. Right, use the trigger to shoot arrows. Got it. I hope my 
voice is still recording here. Uh, that would really blow if it didn't come back. So I'm gonna check that real quick. Yes, it is. Oh, Thank hey, you. fairy lady. It seems you're the one who will fight with Cyclops. Um, yes, so I will. You before you defeat him, but none succeeded. Some ran away, some peed their pants, and some fainted <clears throat> in front of him. Not to mention the last guy. If you ask me, you have little chance. But whatever. Um, yes. well, thanks for the confidence Let there. Let me see um, how strong you are. Hmm. Um, okay. All right. You just like right up in my face there. I mean, not bad at all. If you're also wise enough, you may succeed. Don't waste your time and talk to Dede again. See oh. you. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, it's nice to meet you there, um, hot fairy lady. Um, um, I'm assuming you're going to be my companion, so that is great. So, all right. Um, well, let's see here. I just busted my knuckles and dropped my mic, and you guys got to see all that. So that was really fun. Now, um, combat. Let's talk about that for a second here. So, uh, definitely going to want to have a little bit more area swinging the sword. If I wasn't in my office, I would definitely be playing this standing up. Um, you know, um, the the crossbow without the ability to actually aim with, with six doff, it, it is a little more difficult. So, definitely got lead those targets so all right we're gonna press on here just a little bit more and then I think we're gonna go ahead and cap this but I do want to kind of see a little more than just the training um, I'm sure you guys don't mind since we haven't done one in a while I'll make this a little bit longer video I'm sorry son I must have dozed off at my age drowsing that becomes like inevitable play in there and he's well, like well, playing we. that cool chill music ah, you picked a nice weapon this weapon shall grant you all the might you need. Yeah, the, the Our might to kill fairy girl, Percy, will also accompany you on this unrelenting quest. She may be eccentric, but she's also sharp as they come. If you heed to her advice, she will illuminate your path. I am also lending you my brave horse, Ascaris. Nice. May his valiance be yours. Sweet, I got a horse. You are ready. Now rest for the night. You will embark on your journey by dawn. All right. Get some Z's here, but I'm gonna go check out my horse. Can I go check out my horse? No. Okay. I guess we'll have to do that in the morning. Sweet. I got a horse. Whoa. Have you ever wondered? There used to be only fairies around here. Uh, After Oz no. Clan came here, we settled in the forest. But we are happier. We protect the trees, and the trees protect us. Okay. There's trouble in the forest. There's unrest with the trees. I hope this won't last forever. My mom doesn't know I'm here. She knows I'll be in trouble. Let's go back before it's late. Um, you're, you're 18, you right? run away in the middle of the road anyways. No need oh, to okay. fear. Uh oh, it's like we're about what to fight. sweet doggy. Let's feed it. Let's see if I can Looking do it this time hungry. without taking out my mic. Uh, I think it doesn't like us. Alright, so, let me get a little look at the actual gameplay here. Uh, and reload the crossbow. Okay, so the combat is seeming a little bit shooterish. Oh, man, uh, this was like turn away. Maybe a cheater trick, but I just realized that if I just press and hold down on that, nice. it keeps loading my crossbow. If they knew what they were so dealing great. with, they could still be alive. Now, the voice acting on her is a little cringy, but I'm loving it's the model, so obviously. Duh. But no, I mean, I'm just saying it, it, that you got a little hair movement Locally, going on. I, I mean, can the, sense the dangerous model situations. is actually but pretty damn good. And I'm very, fairy uh, I'd love here. to see that at a higher resolution. Um, so. Can it be Cyclops? 
And, you know, because I don't have the sixth off, some of the placement is a little up in my face, though. I'd like to see it, like, a little farther back. At least I can see myself flying away. You get ready for what's coming. I'm going to go up here. Maybe for a village. Who is this woman? I have never seen her before. Maybe she's from another village? They don't like her at all. I oh. get lost before she notices me. Just be careful. I'll be around. Okay. See ya. Um, hey, old lady. You got some very still sheep there. Yeah, you tell him, boy. Uh, you don't look like a witch or anything. Travel safe, kids. I've heard that you are after an evil. I have things to speak to. I had two sons. Lost one to Cyclops. Other one still lives. Oh, now so it's his lost. turn. The beast wants him to. I have nothing left but my only son. We want to sleep at night. Without the fear of that. Well, who does? I want to help you on this fight. So, we'll tell you a shorter way to reach the beast's nest. Uh, sure At the you end will. of this road, there is a cave. Stumbled upon it, searching for my dead son weeks ago. But couldn't get inside. I was afraid. I am an old woman. If you enter the cave, you will find a shortcut to its place. That's all I have to say. Can't help you more. Oh, uh, okay. Be well, careful. Yeah, that was helpful. My prayers are with you. Okay, so looks like we're heading to the cave. Fairy Let lady's back. Women. No, I she's know alright. Cave she talks of. Nobody goes there. There's evil. Maybe we should up. change our way, but if it's shorter, like she says, I can go back home earlier. Maybe the best way is the way we know of. Oh, I'm so confused. Me too. I'll go and check there quickly before you, and okay. you come quick too. Yeah. Like I said, I, the, the voice acting is just cringy. Uh, but, you know, man, other than just a few little knocks, like the inability to turn off the subtitles and, you know, some of the voice acting, I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to dig on this. This is definitely filling that old school role play itch that I've been looking for. Um, yeah, I, I definitely like some better combat. That did seem a little wave shooter ish, but that was just, you know, the first time you fight anything, so maybe it'll get better. Whoa. And man, scale. Uh, they're definitely getting some nice scale going on in here. Yeah. Uh, I'm sitting and that's even making me a little weak in my knees, which I love that feeling in VR. Whoa, oh. It was like almost perfectly timed with a little shimmy in my chair there, so that was cool. And, you know, I mentioned it earlier, but I do enjoy the fact that even though, you know, I don't have control over the motion, it is just a nice, fluid, forward motion that allows me to look around and check out some of the scenery as I go. So, very nice. Very, very nice. Got some board break in here. Suspense going on. Am I gonna make it? Oh my gosh. Okay. So here we are. Looks like we got another bridge to cross. And a little encounter with her. It's calm, but I don't like this place at all. Oh, I'm loving this place. This place is great. So, looks good. I'm not gonna hate on it. 
So, all right, I think we are going to just go ahead, we'll go across this bridge, we'll come into that cave, and then I am going to call it a day, because, you know, I do this on my lunch hour at work, and, yeah, with the setup time and everything, it uh, doesn't leave me a lot of time for the recording, unfortunately. So hoping that there is going to be a much easier way to record West. Uh, that's one of the reasons I don't do a lot of the Go videos still. Except there's no one on the bridge, but I'm there, so. Uh, it's just because it, it is kind of still a pain in the butt to record from this thing and get a decent quality um, out of the video, um, having to sync the audio and the video. I don't know, I'm not going to complain about all that. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's get across the bridge here. Isn't that the same old lady we saw on the road? Uh, How yeah, did she sure even like come her. here before us? What uh -oh. the? Your weapon quickly! Uh -oh, what, what's going on? Oh, bats. Ah. Oh, that's right. Hold down. Yeah, that does work. Awesome. Alright, so yeah, this made this a lot better. So it does look like most of the combat, though, is coming in like a wave shooter stuff. So I was kind of hoping for something a little more RPG. Thank you. Alright, so you know what? I think we are going to go ahead and cap it here because I'm pretty sure going through that sets off a whole other level of story and whatnot. But man, I gotta tell you, Day Day Core Cut Chronicles, I am not hating on this game. Um, I, it is definitely scratching some of the itches that I've been looking for in a decent RPG. I'm, I'm liking the graphic style, I'm loving the scale, the, the audio is decent, eh, voice acting definitely needs a little work, love the modeling on the fairy, um, you know, I mean if you took, give me the ability to give my preference of movement and give me the ability definitely to turn off the subtitles since you have spoken voice acting in here and man, this would be a home run. So I am going to throw a link for this down in the description if you have an Oculus Go. I, I don't know if this one's for Gear VR as well. Uh, if it is, it's pretty much the same store. Uh, so you can grab a copy from there. But uh, thank you very much for watching to the end of the video. If you did, you guys know that means the world to me. And uh, if you're a subscriber here on the channel, guys, I haven't done this in a while, but man, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, we just broke 6,500 subscribers here on my channel. And uh, man, I couldn't do it without you guys. I, you know, I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your support over the years. I know my content's been a little lacking lately. I've just been so freaking busy. 
uh, with real life. Uh, but, you know, I'm hoping to change that here really soon and get back to it and push towards that 10,000. Want to get to 10,000 subscribers. That's always been my, you know, first goal uh, when I started this. So, all right, that's enough blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. This is VR Gamer Dude signing off, y'all. Peace.